It's no secret that skill is important in anything, and skill comes with experience. It's the same with video editing. If you don't know how and what to do, you can make a lot of mistakes. Tell me, how often do you sit down to edit your video with a smile on your face, full of determination and desire, and get up dissatisfied and tired? All that happens because you probably make typical rookie mistakes. Watch carefully, because in this video, I will share with you five most common video editing mistakes. Mistake number five, focus focusing on algorithms. Many novice YouTubers choose the wrong approach when shooting and editing videos. For some reason, there's an opinion among people that only the content specifically created for algorithms can become popular. In the pursuit of popularity and success, people turn cool ideas into something either boring or unwatchable, desperately trying to fit into so-called optimal parameters. Don't do that! This misconception comes from a fundamental misunderstanding of how you YouTube works. Here's what you are probably thinking. I should keep my video's duration within 8 to 10 minutes. I should start with a generic greeting, I should ask for likes and comments at the end, and yada yada yada. Of course, all these things do work, but their effect is negligible. All these algorithm optimizations are nothing but the byproduct, a good bonus, so to speak. After all, what makes a video cool and popular really? There are only two parameters on YouTube that really matter, click for rate or CTR and retention. A CTR depends on the title and thumbnail, but editing directly affects the viewer's retention. So tell me, how many videos did you have to stretch or cut to fit into these infamous 8 to 10 minutes? More than one, right? Just forget about all of that. Focus on creating great content in the first place. Learn how to tell interesting stories. Learn how to keep people's attention. Because even if you make a five minute video, but it is interesting and dynamic, YouTube will show it to people. Again, your videos should be made not for the algorithms, but for people, for your viewers. What matters is the quality of the content and the viewer's enjoyment. Remember this simple fact and create your next videos the way you see them, with soul and passion, without looking at the algorithms. It's important, but you get the idea. Mistake number four, poorly organized editing. We all know how it usually goes. You don't know what to shoot, you mess up the video's format, you get lost in your own files, you forget ideas and so on and so forth. Video editing is only a part of video creation, but it can easily steal precious hours and nerves from you, especially if managed poorly. Even something as simple as organizing files is usually ignored by most novice editors. They just import all files into the program without a thought, drop them onto the timeline and start cutting. Such a mindless approach is not good for keeping your story and narrative straight. You start getting confused in your own ideas, in the sequence of scenes, in the meanings of these scenes. If you do not structure your files, you can simply forget what you're doing in the middle of the editing process. In addition, novice creators during editing often are following one principle. Editing interesting bits first and boring after. They begin to create effects, make animations, transitions, completely forgetting about the structure of the video. You never forget about the structure. Good, stable structure is the key. You should always start by creating the backbone, the main structure of the video, and only then do small cutting, add transitions and effects. In addition, when editing, beginners often add a lot of unnecessary shots, cut out the voice where it's not needed, and generally clutter the video. I know it sounds like a big problem, but in fact, all problems with poor editing organization can be solved quite easily. Just plan everything in advance. You don't need to draw storyboards. Just take a piece of paper, a pen, and write down roughly what scenes are needed, what to focus on, what to talk about in each scene, and so on. If you have references for editing, be sure to download these videos and note where exactly the moments you need to copy are. This way you can avoid a huge amount of unnecessary actions, unnecessary cuts, and also make the story more coherent. Three, approaching everything head on. Movavi Video Editor provides a lot of options for automating the editing process if you do not learn the features of your editing program in advance, even simple actions and effects can take a lot of time to do. For example, you can cut a video either by clicking on the special scissors-like button above the timeline 
or simply pressing Ctrl B or Command B. And since you need to do a lot of such small actions only with hotkeys, you can save minutes or even hours. Or how about adding effects? Replacing the background, for example. If you've never opened the Mobavi video editor, you may get the impression that in order to remove the background, you must shoot against the green screen and then remove all the green, but you can do that without a chroma key. If you open tools, you will see a tab with background removal. The program, using artificial intelligence, will automatically separate the foreground from the background and remove the latter. With just a few clicks, a complex effect can be done even on an old laptop. Or for example, text animations. Without knowing all the functions of the video editor, it may seem that you can only add pre-made animations, but a smart editor will open tools and find the animations tab. There, you can both animate the full text block and parts of it down to a single letter. In addition, your unique animations can be saved for future use. Or how about noise reduction in audio? If you ask any regular person about how to do it, he will answer something like, well, probably somehow block the low and high frequencies and increase the volume of the voice itself. Yes, this is the correct answer, but manually tweaking all the settings of the equalizer and noise gate is pretty time consuming. It's much easier to open the noise reduction tab and remove all the noise with a single click. To make your editing better and faster, don't ignore the smart functions of your editing app because they were created specifically to make lives easier and effects better. And be sure to check out all the smart features of Movavi Unlimited. Movavi Unlimited is the unique annual plan that includes the best from Movavi in one intuitive platform. There are tools for video editing, photo retouching, screen recording apps, and a set of utilities for work and study. On top of this, Movavi Unlimited gives you the one-year access to all the effects that the Movavi Effects Store has to offer. And you won't lose much time on learning. Every step of the creation process, from converting raw footage to adding effects to your video project, can be done in just a few clicks. Movavi Unlimited will help you create high-quality content and make your ideas come true. Unlike professional software, Movavi Movavi Unlimited is accessible for many users, its annual subscription plan includes 10 programs and a huge collection of effects at the price of just one app. And the best thing is that you won't need a top-of-the-line computer to make the platform run smoothly. And exclusively for everyone who's watching this video right now, we're offering a 20% discount on Movavi Unlimited by the coupon VLOG20. So hit the link below to use our special deal. The second most popular mistake, too many effects. Almost every novice editor makes this mistake. If you think that the best editing is the most complicated one, you're wrong. The best editing is the one you don't notice. What does it mean? This means animations are added only where they are needed, effects are only where they are appropriate, and transitions are only where they help tell the story. Beginners often rush into editing and overload the video with transitions, effects, text stickers, and other stuff. If you do not control yourself, it is very easy to turn a good video into something unwatchable. Creative and diverse visuals are certainly good, but everything should be in balance. Movavi Video Editor does encourage you to experiment, add effects, and try something new. How can you not try all text effects at once? What about stickers? Surely you have already come up with almost a hundred use cases for each of them. And what about video overlay effects? Is it really possible for any video to do without both the glitch effect and the effect of oil painting at the same time? Trust me, it's possible. I know it's not easy to keep your editing balanced, but there is at least one simple solution to keep your effects uniform. The built-in effect packs in the Movavi Video Editor. These effect packs make maintaining one style much easier. Just pick a theme, autumn, Halloween, anime, comics, or tech-related. The pre-made text effects, transitions, animations, and sounds will make your videos more consistent, more in line. This is the easiest way there is. The more difficult way is thinking about the purpose of each effect before adding. Ask yourself, do I really need that? The answer is almost always no. And finally, the most common mistake among novice editors, maniacal perfection seeking paired with janky cuts. You need to make sensible cuts and unite clips together organically. But it's not the absence of skill that's a problem, 
the approach is. Many editors are striving so much to reach that perfect video that they get carried away. With that striving, you get many flaws. Illogical pauses, weird face expressions, audio clicking, and so on. Yes, this issue is a development of the previous one in some ways, but it's much easier to get carried away with cutting than with effects. Sometimes you're looking at the footage and find all kinds of flaws the pause is too big, or articulation is too fierce, or something else. You just start cutting everything, deleting pieces, and somehow connecting what's left. And the final video becomes unwatchable. Either the audio stops in mid-sentence, or the voice tone changes between frames, or the narration gets inconsistent. With aggressive editing, you can accumulate many problems that aren't easy to solve. For editing to stay consistent, you need to optimize script writing and fix the presentation matter. However, if you have only editing for solving this, my advice will be lower your expectations. This approach is great for finding a healthy balance between real and staged video. Humans are not robots and can make mistakes, and that's what makes us, well, us. After all, we like watching bloggers because they feel real and alive with their own imperfections. We feel nothing if the content is sterile and perfected. Therefore, stop chasing perfection. A pause in audio, so what? Leave it. It's okay if the hands go out of the frame. Leave these little mistakes and imperfections. Such small details will not only make editing easier, but also help win the audience's affection. I I do it too, but you don't notice that. I can now open any video on this channel and find a ton of flaws, but I left them on purpose. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid of imperfections. So those are my top five rookie mistakes of novice video editors. If you've recognized yourself in this video, don't worry. I'm sure you will be able to use our advice and make editing easier. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and download Mobavi Unlimited. See you in the next one.